Today is the day. The coupon for the discount on resource ships has finally reset, and that means I'm gonna get the Ragnar. I've been forcing myself to wait, even though I have enough steel up here, as you can see. I just want to make it last as long as it possibly can, so using the discount coupons is a great idea to just increase the longevity of the steel that I currently have. Once you're in the armory, you can check your coupons up here at the top, and you can see that there's this resources one for ships. And you'll notice it resets twice a year. So it's gonna take be a little while before I can use it again, but I have been trying to wait six months or so between buying steel ships, since that is the more valuable of the two resources. There's coal as well, but uh, steel is definitely a little harder to get. So I've been waiting for that for quite some time at this point. The Ragnar is a ship that a lot of people have uh, had a lot of fun with, and I've been watching some streams and videos and talking to some friends about it, and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to get this thing and play it, and that's what we're gonna do today. Purchase for 20,000 steel. Nice discount there from 27,000. There it is. Beautiful. So the party trick of the Ragnar, if you don't know, is it's incredibly accurate high caliber guns for a destroyer. 152 mil guns and their dispersion is some of the best in the entire game. The real strength of this ship comes from its ability to pen cruisers. You can see that 30 mil pen, it's pretty important and it allows the Ragnar to not quite hard counter some of these radar cruisers, but Des Moines, Salem type cruisers that sit on islands definitely struggle. This ship doesn't have the best concealment and something you probably should know is it has decent HP and importantly, it gets a heal. The other thing about the Ragnar is the 25 millimeter side plating, meaning you can actually sit broadside to a lot of destroyers and they'll just shatter their HE here. Of course they can swap to AP, but if you're ready for that, you can just angle and then bounce most of it. The ship is tough to take out. It's an incredible gunboat. However, it's big and slow. Unless you have your speed boost up, which is much like Smallland, you have this short duration, incredibly powerful speed boost. If this isn't up, you're pretty easy to hit in a Ragnar, as well as the Smallland. But assuming you've got this up, the ship is tough to take on. <laughs> Of course, the Ragnar also gets the 7.5 kilometer radar to go along with these incredible guns, and you get a heal. We only get two of each, and we'll see what I end up with on my commander once I'm done setting this thing up. At this point, this is the commander that I'm considering using, trying to get as much damage out of our main guns as possible outside of main battery and AA specialist. Something I wasn't actually aware of with the Ragnar is that it only gets two heals, two speed boosts, and two radars. Compare that to a ship like Smallland that gets three base, uh, makes it a little bit tougher to uh, skip on Superintendent and go for something like Main Battery and AA Specialist. So for Smallland, I have skipped Main Battery. I have skipped Superintendent for Main Battery and AA Specialist, trying to get as much out of these guns as possible. However, I think here it might make a little bit more sense to uh, take Superintendent so we have a little more survivability and of course we can have a couple more radar activations. Something I would consider, especially if you're going to play this in competitive, you probably want to go Concealment. <laughs> For random battles though, I'm going to try this range build that gives me 15.6 kilometer range and only 8.3 kilometer concealment. That's the weakness here, is I won't be as good at radaring destroyers since we have a 7.5 kilometer radar and an 8.3 kilometer concealment. If I had taken concealment expert, I would have gained that concealment to match the radar range at 7.5 kilometers. That's where the strength of the full conceal build is. However, I am going to do more of a gun build in random battles. We'll see how it goes. I might switch over to a more conceal focused build since that can work pretty well, especially in randoms where destroyers won't necessarily be expecting to face something this powerful at such close ranges. Getting the surprise or at least being able to radar someone as soon as you get spotted is very powerful and not to be underestimated. 
Now let's see how this thing plays in some random battles. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm, there's the issue with taking <laughs> no concealment. Ah, there we go. We found the Shimokazi. Let's make sure we slip in between all these. We'll be alright. These arcs are amazing. And the accuracy is so good that it makes you feel bad um, when you miss. Because <laughs> it's literally your own fault when you miss. <laughs> you can't play RNG with this ship. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Now we just chase down the Shima. I actually am pretty slow without my speed boost. But we'll try and chase him down anyway. It's pretty important we clear him from this flank. Oh my goodness, that Akazuki had fun. <laughs> what the heck? That poor guy, bro. The AA is surprisingly decent, uh, but you of course don't have a defensive fire, so it's a little rough. Three quarters of his health gone. That's a good time. <laughs> Oh no, I did open up to try and help him, but that is rough. Alright, we're coming up on a fight here. I'm hoping to surprise this Kitakaze. That's what I want to do here. Okay. Spot it. Oh, unfortunate. I actually can't see it. Too bad. I was really hoping to surprise this Kitakazi. Midway's after us again. We should build a fit in between these. Yeah, nice. There's a Yugumo. We'll open up on that, why don't we? Got ourselves an A defense expert. Which is kind of hilarious. Use our first heal, even. I'm missing because I'm not aiming. I tend to focus on dodging a lot. Um, probably more than I should, honestly, but... I need to focus more on my ability to hit these targets, since the Ragnar is just so incredibly accurate. He's doing a good job of dodging, though, that's for sure. I'm also got to get used to the uh, arcs of this thing. They're really good arcs, but uh, still got to get used to them. Got to figure them out, you know? We have ourselves an AA defense expert, though, which is pretty cool. Try and finish off this Roma real quick. That'd be good. Our FDR is going in, too. We don't have the ability to pen anywhere but a superstructure. And of course, Romas have some pretty small superstructures, so we gotta do a much better job of leading and aiming with this thing than I'm doing right now. Got one hit. We'll go back in for some more. Nice, we finished them off. Kitakazi was dealt with. There we go. Perhaps that had happened already and I was just not paying attention. <laughs> What a close match. This is super cool. Maybe if we scroll out one, we'll hit a little easier. I hope, I hope. We'll start our AA as soon as he gets in range. This isn't a scenario where we can stay dark. He knows exactly where we are. So we'll turn on our AA and attempt to, again, make it as difficult as possible for him. He's coming in from that angle. Should be a poor drop. Yeah, he hit one. I mean, obviously not amazing for me. I would love to not be hit by a carrier. <laughs> but we did as much as we could there. I think that was reasonably well done.
Now the hope is we can get this cap before he comes back. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm gonna try and use this island to block the carrier from seeing me, and this time we will keep our AA disabled until he's really close. Yeah, so there's his rockets. He's surprisingly not coming to reset me. That is probably a misplay. Gives us a big, big advantage here. This Prince Eugen is very close, that's spooky. All right, we got the cap. Now we can use our speed boost. And there's a Shima here. Interesting that he was trying to yellow me. We're fine. Can use that just to keep track of them. Use our heal. All good things, all good things. This Prince Oigen's gonna make it awkward though. I don't know if I can outgun a Prince Eugen. We'll see. We'll certainly try. I'm not gonna switch to AP. We're getting great full pens with HE, so I don't think we really need to do that. A on, since the planes are on their way. Again, we're going to focus on dodging as much as we can. Got to maintain speed. Got to maintain speed here. I will swap to the Shima when I can have vision of him. He got my main gun. That is, like, really unlucky, I think. We'll see how vulnerable this is, but uh, I think that's pretty unlucky. Okay, here come the rocket planes. Please, focus on aiming. Stop focusing on the... There we go. Okay. Okay, we are alive, barely. That was too soon on the repair, that was dumb. Although. Nice, okay, okay. This is not the match I was looking for. Um, uh, this is not the match I was trying to get. <laughs> Concealment would have definitely been the better option here. Like not even close, like that is. That would have been way nicer. However, we managed to make it work. So even a game like this where concealment was just by far the better choice, we managed to make it work. So I'm pretty happy about that. I forgot to turn my A on. I'm not very smart sometimes. Basically gifted the CV a free strike, even though he's low on planes. He still hit us. Man, that is rough. Please shoot them down, AA. <laughs> it's so strange that he's not striking me. But hey, I'll take it. I'll allow it. <laughs> we have 160,000 plane damage. Wow. Can you imagine if this CV wasn't on me the whole game? Would have been so much easier. That one. Dive bombers next. This is ridiculous. He just keeps coming. It's a good thing this thing has decent AA, honestly. I'm 
surprised the Yukimo hasn't. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay. That was a pretty solid demonstration of this ship's ability to play in its uh, weak points. <laughs> like, that was not the optimal game for a Ragnar. At least from what I think. Of course, it's my first game. I don't really know. But having a CV come after you and not being able to farm battleships or... That's not really what you want out of a gunboat DD. However... We had this game still. So that's pretty impressive that even with the farmer's build, a build that doesn't focus on countering destroyers, right? Our concealment not matching our radar range makes it a little hard to deal with that. We still did really well. That's very nice to see. That makes me even happier about uh, getting a Ragnar. Wow, we even ended with 176,000 plane damage to a midway. That's not even to an FDR. That's got to be the most plane damage I've ever done to a normal carrier. Right, FDR doesn't count. Its gimmick is the ridiculous health pool. That's crazy. What a match. I was really hoping we'd have the pen to sit it on but it seems like the game doesn't want to do that. Disappointing. Oh well. Pushed him back. Didn't lose too much HP. Our curve first got absolutely owned though. Wow. First blood? No. We lost to Monty first. <laughs> it's not a great start. Not at all. I need my speed boost here. Not having it's really bad. There we go. Our team is just crumbling here. Got a solo uh, this entire game, I guess. Our Holland is now dead. Um, that's gonna hit me. Never mind. <laughs> Let's see how fast this thing is when it's got the speed boost up. It's really hard to hit. Never mind. <laughs> I definitely should have focused on dodging that one a little more. So that's uh, a bit of a mistake. There comes the next shot. He put it behind me. Interesting. Well, we pretty much soloed that Yoshino, so I think that shows the gun power is pretty solid on this ship. 84k already. Oh, it's hard not to get uh, demoralized in a match like that. Sorry, guys. It's uh, tough when you try and play a video game and it just doesn't really allow you to play, you know? <laughs> what was that? Like, surely there's something Wargaming can do to not 
have matches like this. This is unbelievable. I'm going to call it there, I think. Sorry to end it on a bit of a sour note, but that's World of Warships. It's not always a fun game to play. Wargaming certainly hasn't designed it like that. But the Ragnar itself is a good ship. I think that if you can get this thing, it is awesome. It's shown that, I think, in this video quite well, especially that first match, where against a CV pretty much exclusively coming after us and then having to deal with stealthy destroyers and not being able to farm people like we would like in a ship with especially this build. You know, I'm not running concealment and we have that 8.3 kilometer detect. Its weakness definitely is destroyers that know how to stay and play with stealth, keeping this thing spotted, making it difficult to play. So the Ragnar is great. I think you should get this ship if you have the chance. The coupon is back. Make sure you use that with your steel or your coal. It's a great way to save on the resource usage. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.